Let's talk health now. Diabetes comes with the heavy burden of treatment costs in a country where getting health care is largely out of pocket. People who grapple with managing the disease go through a lot financially while trying to manage the new diet lifestyle and treatment regimen. Health correspondent Kemi Balogo explores what it takes to live healthy with diabetes. Peter is an architect who has lived with diabetes for 27 years. He goes about his daily activities like anybody will do, but getting to this point has not been so easy. I didn't get good medical care at the beginning because I realized comparing the kind of medical care I have today with when I started, I realized that there is just a random knowledge which are not accurate. But over the years, I've learned to work with my body science, my, by my body vitals. He shares his daily meal plan and treatment regimen with us. You have to change your taste bud to survive it. If I'm not doing boiled on rye plantain and afang soup, I'm doing moi moi alone, maybe with snail. Another key lifestyle change that is equally as important as being on treatment is the diet change. Diabetics are basically on a streamed diet, which would include more non-starchy vegetables, fewer added sugars, and refined grains. That doesn't mean you can't eat tasty food. I would advise portion control quantities, because I have seen situations where people with diabetes abstain from sugar completely, and then they now have another problem where they now have low um, sugars in their blood, and they're asked or advised to take you know, some sugar to take it back up. The rising economic indices have not only affected the cost of oral medications for diabetics, but also the prices of the recommended fruits and vegetables as well. We're in Nigeria and we're looking at what people can readily buy or purchase, you know, in the market. Um, I would say beans is a good option, right? Uh, I would say vegetables is a good option. High protein meals are a good option. A bunch of unripe plantain is about 4,000, 5,000 right now. It has like five pieces on it. Some people, how, how many people can afford that? So it's really tough, you know? Afang soup is costly to make and all of that. So it's not easy. It's, diabetes is a very expensive sickness. Medical experts and nutritionists advise that changes in diet, exercising, as well as an early medical diagnosis can help to drastically reduce the burden of diabetes in Nigeria. Kemi Balugun, TVC News, Abuja.